Hello everyone, welcome to Yuka Shonto channel. Um, today I want to introduce about my first time camping in Canada. And then I made a quick, not quick, but a rough video while I'm going camping and then I shoot the intro, but then I lost my intro and I forgot what I was talking about. So I'm making a new one, which is a short one. And then the story kind of like suddenly start because I lost the beginning part but please enjoy this view and let them talk this is not like anything Japanese lesson or anything but maybe some cooking that we did is maybe different as how the Canadian people eat when they're doing camping um, yeah and then I went to the place called Golden Ears which I show on a map so I live in Vancouver and I went there was yeah over one hour I actually went which day did I go? I forgot but it was long weekend <laughs> and it was quite cold because more than one month ago I think but um, yeah let's watch it Anyway, this is how we um, drive the car. Um, on the way, my friend who has, who owns the car, afraid to drive him. So, Tatsu drive on the way. It's like one hour, it wasn't so far. Um, yeah, it was good. Um, the kids. That's his kid I met before, and every time when, uh, when the day beginning of the day he was so shy, he doesn't want to talk to me. But after like 30 minutes, like he's so happy and talking to me and kidding. So yeah, it was a really chill. I know weather was perfect. They say the Vancouver is really hot. Like these two days was like 23 degrees. And in this one, it's just like I use app, so it's like first time. It's the first time I show my face, but I think it's okay because I use like stupid app, I know. And I was just a kid because I don't want to make make the kids get feel bored, right? Because for the kids, it's like one hour drive with with you know kind of strangers gonna be boring. So I was just playing with it. Um, yeah, because it was actually the Mother's Day, no, the day before, and then, so we waited that he finished the uh, preschool, and he had uh, <coughs> some Mother's Day ceremony with his mom, but he seems like so sad um, to, you know, like she cannot come with him, and yeah, I mean, I really hate that sometimes, like seeing, like, Parents go shopping or parents do whatever they want to do and then kids feel because I remember how boring it was and I just don't want to make good make him that feeling because this idea is like we as in a class may want to have fun <coughs> but we wanted to make sure that he's he enjoyed the most um, it's like a camping site, it's not like a really super hardcore camping. There's many uh, spots that we can camp. Actually, we had to pay, it was expensive than I saw. Uh, we were expecting like a 15 to 20 bucks, but it was like $35 per night. Um, but the uh, environment was really good. There's a table, so it was good. and my friend had uh, two tents because i have nothing and oh this is yakitori chicken onion chicken onion chicken onion is cure for cooking so we got a two tent and my friend my friend is like uh, a really outdoor person but i had nothing so he had like shelf and mattress well i had nothing i all, all i brought was like some like thinner down jacket and thin blanket <coughs> uh, yeah 
I really have nothing. So I, I really, really like rely on him. Oh, and then the kids making s m o r e Um, only me and his kids make s'more. It's my favorite. I never had, I didn't even know about the s'more until I come to Vancouver.、Uh, my friend, I think it was on Christmas, we did it, and I was like, I didn't even like marshmallow before, but when I kind of like burn it and put the chocolate. Between the cookie, that's like, oh my god, it's amazing. I'm so addicted. And I forgot for a while because I haven't ate for a while. And then he was like, the kids w a s like, s'more, s'more. So, like, and we eat. And my addiction s t a r t again. What are we making is onigiri, yaki onigiri. So it's like white rice bowl, but we put the sauce on it. It's like amazing. Oh, wait. And so. What we put is、uh, mixing miso and mirin. You're just mixing miso and mirin and then put with a blush. And then I think it was a taste amazing because we grill with this the charcoal. Grilling with charcoal make everything perfect. See, it's okay. His marshmallow never g e t ready. <laughs> he is too far from the fire and just moving. When we are together, trying to speak Japanese more, he said, because he's learning English so quick in his school. But、um, teaching Japanese in living in Vancouver is hard. So, since the both, both parents', is, parents are Japanese, they're trying to speak only Japanese at home. I like how, how when I try to help、um, him to. The marshmallow get ready, his dad didn't allow me to. So, what was I, I like how he said, was like, you have to, I was like, I was like, so, so cute. And he said, like, you just, you have to grow your marshmallow by yourself. You know? The next morning, we woke up earlier, it was like 6 30, eat breakfast, and then start. Hiking. There's a two coasts. One is like a few hours, but we choose the smaller one. It's like one hour. But with the kids, right? And he really h a t e walking. So my roommate did a kataguruma on a shoulder. We say kataguruma in Japanese. And it's just like. Working, but the same thing again. Like for us, it's just like kids are so cute, and then when he's tired, let me help you, let's go work together. I can do the kataguruma, but for from the dad, it's like don't do it. Like he has to learn, he has to, you know, do we, we have to kind of like teach him all those steps. It makes sense to you, but、um, yeah, that was great. And the view was so great. Yeah, this is another difference. It's small, but. What is this? Cold? I want to try. One thing I like, I like about it is.、Um, When I went to camping, I never a b l e to see from my, at least my, from my hometown, I was the first part of Japan. I never really a b l e to see the mountain covered by snow. So, like, you are, I think, usually go to camping in summertime and it's so hot, play with water, or I always catch bugs. 
but uh, what well, water was so cold so this is another difference I can't play in the water I could do it in in Japan but here oh my god even summertime is so cold but another difference is I can see the mountain covered by snow it's just so so beautiful I loved it and it's interesting my roommate who hates outdoor stuff always wanted to stay home that's why I always when I'm planning to do something in my classmate it's like um, let's go to drink together eat outside or like hiking camping which never really happened because it's so hard to arrange a schedule but sometimes happen my roommate never joined because he hates like big group mm, driving and any event but after this he was like oh I need to buy a camping camping tools and I was like what and then he was asking Tatsu like hey let's come like next time so or it's it's great to see like some people try something never really do by themselves and once they try the first time they actually love it so that's why I always want to want to try something if someone asks me to join I always happy to try it and if I like something I always like to include all my friends so who know that they like or not like at least they should try I don't know but um, the reason I could do this was only this week we usually have like two tests per week and this week was so slow only I think this is the last week and the first week that we had a no test plus like Friday because we're going to the next level to learn helicopter we usually have like Friday off but we don't need to go f to school on a Friday we have to have like small assignment so that they count as an attendance anyway so we had no school on Friday and we finished the assignment early in the morning that's why this week was so slow and good and the weather is good too that I could do this personally personally I like to go somewhere like on the mountain I don't know how to say it's like you can see like the really nice view like ocean or whatever from the top of mountain instead like you're the it's kind of in a mountain I don't know what I'm saying maybe weird but uh, so like the last time I did hiking was I mean we went to like what's it Lean Canyon it's like a similar you can see the river and a small bridge but what I want to do is more like on a mountain I can see the ocean so next time I wish I if I have a chance I want to do that kind of like a hiking initially we're planning I was planning with Tatsu was that kind of hiking but the plan changed so I hope we can do that kind of hiking another time there is a place in North Vancouver I know I've been there, it was very beautiful, but that was really like, it's a really short course and I want to go like higher, different mountain, but I have a terrible sense of directions and I don't want to go by myself, obviously. This is the only way go back. It was really short, like Friday night we leave, we left at 5 p.m. out of mountain, like 6.30 overnight and next day we left like 12 so that the kids have to go to gymnastic class so we left early but the view was amazing and i see some cows and yeah that that's pretty much everything all the night we were sleeping in a tent but it's so cold i couldn't stand i just moved to the car like 2 a.m so if I go camp, I need like more like CS winter jacket or buying a shraf. 
or it's good to have a hobby but it's always cause the extra money right so I shouldn't do until I graduate and get a job anyway uh, that's I think all for now and uh, sorry for like a boring video but I hope you guys enjoy and yeah please share your favorite camping place or how you're gonna do um, if you guys like those stuff mm -hmm. oh another difference I always bitten by mosquito but uh, this time no in Japan oh my god it's terrible anyway um, the video is in and I had to go so thank you for watching see you guys soon again bye bye